Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trailmakers. So we've been slowly working through breaking speed records. We've done the land speed record, we've done the air speed record, we've even done the water speed record. But today I wanted to not only build my first ever hovercraft, but I wanted to make the world's fastest hovercraft as well. So I think to start we're going to head to the test zone, but I'm very intrigued to try the centrifuge later. Because uh, I've never been in this, I'm not sure if it's any better for going fast or if it's worse maybe. Here we are in the test zone. This is my character. He's a little emo Lego man uh, with the world's smallest feet, apparently. <laughs> what are they? Uh, but anyway, to start with, we're going to build a basic hovercraft. And when I think hovercraft, I think these things. So these used to passenger people across the English Channel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're out of commission now. But yeah, when I was a kid, these things you used to see them all the time. If you ever went to the sea. And just a quick one before we start our build. We have a sponsor for today's video. Because yes, it's true, you are not a YouTuber until you've done this sponsor. Yep, it's Raid Shadow Legends. The game is free to play and it's cross device, Android, iOS and PC. And basically in the game, you gather a bunch of champions, engineers. You find some bad guys, architects, and you beat them the hell up. Meanwhile, you can upgrade your team and level up your gear. And then you're ready to beat up some more architects. And if you want to try it yourself, there's a link in my description. What I like most about Raid is the variety of champions to use. There's over 600, but it's also got an insane variety of bosses too. And today we're going to be looking at this guy, who's a right architect. I mean, look at that crown. Who does he think he is? Well, actually, this is the guardian of the Void Keep, Malek Kavar. Apparently, he's got some super hench poison attacks, but I don't think that's any match for our engineer army. Yeah, oh, oh god, they all die. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> he's more powerful than he looks. <laughs> If you're wondering what's new this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. They're teasing a spooky Halloween champion as well. So click the link in my description or use the QR code on screen, but you'll get an energy refill, an XP boost, the epic hero Chonoro, who looks like she's well ready to do some engineering, 200,000 silver, and an ancient shard. And all this treasure will be waiting for you here. So thank you once again to Raid for making me a true YouTuber and sponsoring this video. Let's get back to our hovercraft. To build one, we're going to start with the cockpit, because as we know, it's the lightest and it's the most aerodynamic of seats. So that, that's good to start. So that's our basic sort of thing. The hover part of this, we're not going to be floating on a cushion of air like a real hovercraft. We're going to come into a propulsion. We're going to be using this, the hover block. So it looks like these just connect on the sides. Interesting. Okay. All right. So that should allow us to float. Next, we just need propulsion. So if I were to make a realistic hovercraft, I would be looking at some sort of mechanical steering device. I really want a rotatey one. There you go, rotating servo, block that can slowly rotate in each direction. Okay, that's what I want, I want it to be slow. Uh, the only downside is there's no way of connecting that to anything currently. So if we move it up one, we're going to have to use that block there and ping something out the side. So let's go with the lightweight grid blocks. There you go, now that's connected. So then on top of here, I'm going to put my propeller. Holy crap, propellers are huge. <laughs> Okay, we might, have, we might have to make our hovercraft a little bit bigger. It looks like I need some form of connection. So I'm just going to use another one of these grid blocks like that. All right, so this servo, we should be able to come into here to configure. If we want to go left, we press A, which rotates it that way. Yeah, so that looks fine. That's all set up. I'm not sure how fast it will rotate, but we can we can play with that. All right, so if we copy everything to this side. But first, let's just configure our propeller because we want this to go as fast as possible. And rather than space, I think we want that just to be W. All right, so that's those set up. And then for the back ones, I don't think we want these ones to rotate. So we'll just put these on some sort of pillar. Maybe made with these grid blocks. All right, so there we go. That could be the start of our... <laughs> it looks so terrible. The start of our hovercraft speed run. All right, so let, let's go try this out. Yeah, it, it doesn't appear to be floating. Do I need to be in it to float? Maybe. Oh, yes. Yes. We are floating. Okay, so is this actually going to work? Oh, it goes backwards. It goes backwards. <laughs> hang on, hang on then. <laughs> so I actually want W to be that one. And you to be S. Right, now is it any better? Ready? Fire. Oh, it's proper pushing us into the ground. Uh, let's just check the steering. Oh, steering is quite good. It could be a bit less sensitive, maybe. Um, <laughs> That's the break. Right, so ultimately we need to make this a little bit longer. We grab that, we move it that way. And we grab that and move it that way. And that should just spread out the weight a little bit. 
Right, so here we are. And it's almost better, but the faster it goes, the sort of more downforce there is. Uh, still, we're going 112 miles an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> the turning's quite quick. <laughs> oh, dear. Hovernado. <laughs> Hovernado t-shirt coming soon. Oh, that's making me dizzy just looking at it. Bloody hell. All right, so 115, 116 miles an hour we seem to be getting. You can see, though, if we let go of the thrust, how high we are. And if we go forward, how low we are. I wonder if we were to replace those grid blocks in the middle with a hovercraft, maybe that would help a little bit. All right, so we'll delete these for... We'll copy one of these into the middle. So now we've got six hover blocks. It'll be the same on this side. All right, and I wonder now, will it go faster? Because I assume it's not going to sit as low. So uh, 116 to beat. Ready? Oh, it's still pretty low. And it's actually slower. Interesting. I wonder if that's because it now weighs more? Can't really think of another reason why it would do that. Uh, but anyway, let's see how fast we can get with this. If we turn on the aerodynamics, we can see it's absolutely useless. Uh, but we can head into here, the aerodynamic blocks, and we can select the 4x1 wedge, which is an extremely aerodynamic block. Basically, we're just filling these in any gaps where they don't have them. You can see that's all green now. It doesn't actually matter that it looks an absolute mess. Like in real life, aerodynamically, that would be terrible. Uh, but we're not worried about that. Though I am thinking maybe because the front dips, it might be worth rotating all of these. There you go. So it's a bit more like a boat now. All right. So another downside are those servos. They're pretty damn red. If we rotate this and then shove one on top, that's now all green. We can bung those two there. All right. So that's way more aerodynamic now. You can see there's green arrows everywhere. The only bits I can't really do, the very tops of these propellers as they spin, you can see there's some yellow up there. There's also these little ones on the edge. Now, I can't really work out why that is there, unless maybe I just push that back one. Okay, yep, that worked. So we'll do the same on this side. Nice. Now, the downside with this is it's a lot heavier. So whether it will beat... 108 and whether i should actually remove these and go back to the original one i'm going to leave it like this for now because i imagine all of this weight will make it heavier but let's see can we beat 108 first oh look at that look how much of a difference aerodynamics make we are flying what 200 no way 230 235 240 miles an hour just by making it aerodynamic and it doesn't look aerodynamic <laughs> Okay, 245 appears to be the limit for this. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to get rid of those middle hover blocks and see if it makes a difference. So if we delete that and replace with the old gritty things. The reason I use these grid blocks is they're very, very light. So this is what we had before. The downside is we're going to need twice as many to cover up these red areas. So we're going to have to do that. And then if we copy this to the back of that hover block, then there's no aerodynamic downsides. So we'll do the same over this side. All right, now that's exactly the same as before, except for we have only four hover blocks rather than six. So is it quicker? Remember, without the aerodynamic blocks, this was quicker. So 245 to beat. Let's go. It looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. It definitely looks cool. And we're smashing the record. 250, 256. Okay, so this is going to help us. Ah, well, that's not going to help us. That is a wall. Oh, look how happy that, that bit is. It's all excited. <laughs> but yeah, now we've done a lot of learning. We know it's not necessarily the number of hover blocks. You just want enough to be able to get up. Oh god, turning is a bit ropey. It's a bit of a drifter, this. I think this is what Fast and Furious 24 is going to look like when it's set in the future in hover cars. Like, drift! Oh, what a drift. But we're trying to get the fastest vehicle we can. So let's delete all of this. So if we start again and we take everything we've learned, we know that narrow vehicles are the best stacking potion behind is also really good so let's start with the cockpit <laughs> and i'm not just picking this based on the name so that goes at the front we then want a hover block i'm just going to do a quick test because i don't really know if we were to do that is it going to like fall over i assume it needs to be wider so let's get in this yeah it fell over instantly okay that's cool so these have to go side by side so that's those done. Right, next, we need propulsion. So to go forwards in the fastest manner, I'm pretty sure this one, the Dragon Jet, is going to get us there. The power is 300, which is less than the raw engine of 750, but it doesn't overheat. So I'm pretty sure that's the fastest way of doing this. So if we bung one of them in, make sure it's pointing the right direction. Always a good thing to do. I'm sort of just looking at the width, and I'm thinking if we could... Do so you can see three wide isn't as wide as the hover blocks, so we may as well make it a bit wider. So we've got four engines wide. 
And I think that suits the hover blocks better. All right, so to start, although we know that less hover blocks is better, we're just going to hover block it just to, just for simplicity. If we copy that this way and see, things aren't going to line up exactly. But uh, that should sort of do us, I think. The next thing is just making sure everything's connected. And I'm pretty sure we can do that by copying some jet engines forward. Maybe not that far, maybe to there. And then if we use our aerodynamic blocks, I think these will sort of hold everything together. I think I could be very wrong. Yeah, that now holds all the hover blocks on. We're just struggling a little bit with the engines now. So I am actually wondering, there is something in here that we've never used before. So these connectors, one by four? No, we don't want one by four, one by three. So they don't have any aerodynamic downsides, it seems. So we could use that to connect. Actually, no, even better, even better. Yeah, right, so, right, so. So if we do that and then we want to connect everything together, we can use a flat connector there and then we can just do the three ones to connect each row together nice and now everything is connected excellent now we just need to cover up those blocks so we can literally just do yeah we can do that so you can see you can see the aerodynamics on the actual glass bit of the cockpit it's a long green arrow so that's good if i were to delete this one can you see that's a shorter one? So that's not as good. I think this is like extremely aerodynamic and that's just good aerodynamic. So I think doing that, that's the most aerodynamic front we can have. Uh, so let's just try that for now. So we'll get in here. Oh, it's a bit back heavy. <laughs> uh, that'll probably change as soon as we start moving. So let's go. Oh wait, space. <laughs> I was like, why is it not moving? It's space. Look at the rocket. Oh no. Oh dear. All right, let's repair. So not entirely sure what happened there. We started, I'm not pressing left or right, but we are sort of leaning and then, oh, just carnage. Yeah, but how fast do we get before everything goes wrong? Let's have a look. So 200, 300, four, just about 400 and it all goes wrong. All right, so a couple of things we can do. We can either add some sort of some tail fins to keep us straight uh, or we can just copy this back loads of times. And I, I sort of want to go that route. So if we grab all of that, copy this direction and let's just make this as long as we can all right we're gonna have to copy these blocks i'll tell you what actually i wonder if that's why it did it i wonder if it's because we have all of these down one side because these weigh 0.2 kilograms but over this side there's nothing well this would be a good test this isn't even as long as it can go but i think that'll be a good test so let's get in look at it. you can't even see the front <laughs> all right let's go there's so much smoke i'm sorry ozone layer <laughs> Uh, wow, oh yes, Sonic Boom. Oh, Sonic Wall. All right, we got the Sonic Boom. So that is that is really good. Now we've got a jog to the front as well. Come on. All right, let's go again then. What is the top speed of this polluting bad boy? Look, <laughs> can't even see anything. It's just smoke. All right, six, 700, 800, Sonic Boom, 900, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600. So this is by far as fast as we've ever gone in this game. 2,000 miles an hour and it's still going up. Oh, we nearly escaped the level then as well. Right, this is really exciting. I think we got to get to a corner to try the true speed test. Look how cool it looks. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty sweet. Right, to the corner and then we'll have an even longer run up. Oh, we can see the front. We can see the front. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh man, it's a long way to the corner. There it is. There it is. All right, the only downside with this is we have no steering. So I'm going to try and line up the diagonals perfectly. So I want that directly straight. So like that. Why have you spawned? <laughs> Why have you spawned out there? Are you just trying to get an extra run up? I'm not sure it works like that, mate. You've got to be in the level. Let's try and get in anyway. I, I literally can't get to my... <laughs> I literally can't get to it. Okay, so let's, let's go this way a bit. I want that right down the middle of my screen. So... And there you go. There's still one outside the level. It's like a mirror image just looking at us, taunting us. Uh, that looks pretty lined up though. So let's get in and uh, let's go. Let's pollute the atmosphere in the name of speed and power. You ready for the sound barrier? It's going to be beautiful. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Uh, we are drifting right quite significantly. I'm going to assume that's because of all the extra weight down that side. Uh, but 2,000 miles an hour. <laughs> My eyes are like dying from the floor. 2,300, 2,400, 2,500. Oh, wow. I think we actually hit the wall so hard. We completely died. 2,500 miles an hour though. <laughs> 
All right, if I press backspace, will we go back to where we were? No, bollocks. Oh, we can actually lean this. I'm holding left, and I'm holding right. All right, so let's get to the corner again. And then I want to rebuild. And I want to make it as long as possible. I was not expecting us to go this fast. 2,500. All right, so we're back in the corner again. So let's get building. What I'm thinking, this is our complexity of the vehicle. We can have 700 different pieces. And at the moment, we're only on 443. So all that means, basically, is we can make this longer and longer. And it should just make things faster and faster. Because just like in real life, the more engines you add to a vehicle without considering anything else, the faster it goes. So if we copy this backwards a few times. So that's 651. We've gone <laughs> we've gone outside the world box again. Yeah, but we've got 50 more pieces to add. So I'm going to grab like a smaller section, maybe like that. And just add that a few more times. Oh no, I copied the wrong bit there. Can you see there's now aerodynamic blocks there? So we want to delete that. I think we actually want to there. Yeah, that's better. So that's the right amount to copy. So if, can we get one more in? We can't get one more in. Yeah, but I can just copy these manually. I'm not even sure it's worth copying the other blocks. I guess I may as well. But I want to max this out to go as fast as possible. And hover blocks aren't going to add any speed. So if I can get away with it, I think I can get another row of jet engines at the back. Right, nice. That is 699 complexity out of 700. And if we head back to the front, <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> And on aerodynamics, there's literally nothing more we could do to make it more aerodynamic. Uh, so let's get out of build mode. Oh, crap. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> now it's wiggling all over the place. That doesn't look right. Are you okay, mate? All right, let's... We need to go forward a bit, but let's get in the corner. So that's this row of diagonals. And then we'll repair about now. Sometimes it starts behind you, sometimes in front. I don't, I don't understand. All right, as it's deciding to spawn in front of me, I'm going to head right into the corner. All right, there we go. So here's our full vehicle. Look how long it is. It's so long. We have to fly to the front. All right, so now we're in. We literally can't go back any further. And this time, we definitely can't see the front. It's far too long. So let's... Boosh! We are away. Are we going to beat 2,500? Hopefully, the acceleration will be better. Hit the sound barrier. We're halfway there. 1,300, 14, 15... All right, we just hit 2,000 miles an hour. 21, 22, 2003, 2004. Oh, it's all going bad. 2005, 2006. Oh. <laughs> right, I was just looking at the speedo. I did not see what was going on with the vehicle there. <laughs> but it did not sound good in the slightest. Yeah, so I'm going to do it again, going the other direction. All right, now it's spawning behind me again. Bloody game. All right, there we go. Fly to the front. All right, so this time I'm just going to sort of keep an eye on the structure of everything as it gets to the top speeds. At about 2,500-ish, it just seemed to go a bit mental. It was like shaking and... All right, ready? It's looking fine. 2,000 miles an hour. And as we get faster and faster, look, it just goes all wobbly. It's bouncing all over the place. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's over 2,600 miles an hour, though. That is incredible. But right, we're going to leave that there for today, guys. I cannot believe my first ever hovercraft, and it's the fastest I've ever gone in this game. Does that count as the land speed record or the air speed record? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, if you want to see me break more speed records, if you've got any other ideas what you want to see in this game, boost the like button and let me know in the comments. But for now, peace, love, and hovercrafts, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.